Welcome to this hands-on video about the Sensate Pebble. If you follow me on Instagram, you might recognize this after I posted a photo of myself having a go on it a few weeks ago. It was while I was meeting the inventor to hear more about the stress-busting device, which is designed to make you relax within minutes and give you the benefits of meditation without the years of practice. Since then, I have very kindly been loaned a boxed version so that I can make this video about the user experience. So here's a look at what comes in a typical kit. Instruction manual. The actual Sensate Pebble is in here. And this is what the company calls a satin seed pillow. It's full of linseed and essential oils. Don't use it if you're allergic to linseed or essential oils. You wear it over your eyes to help you relax. And here is the charging cable. Once you've downloaded the Sensate app, you can connect the Pebble. Mine paired up really easily and then you just follow the prompts on the app. You rate how you're feeling right now. You get asked to rate your mood after the session too. But when you're ready, you hit start and the Pebble begins vibrating. You can adjust the intensity of the vibrations and the volume of the relaxing sounds. You can change tracks too. So here's my understanding of how Sensate is supposed to make us feel chilled out. You wear it or place it on your chest where it emits sound waves that you can't hear but you can feel as vibrations. Those vibrations travel through your chest bone via bone conduction and in turn stimulate the vagus nerve. Now the company says the vagus nerve is scientifically proven to lower stress levels and that you will notice an immediate difference using the Sensate Pebble for just 10 minutes a day. Now what I really want to do is go and wear this somewhere stressful. Welcome to commuter rush hour in central London where there also happens to be a protest going on behind me right now and I am walking around while stimulating my vagus nerve. <laughs> the vibrations do actually feel quite nice. Uh, but I could do with a bit more give in the lanyard. I feel like I would benefit if it was a bit higher up, but I can't adjust it much more. This is something I'm going to ask the inventor about. So I've been wearing the Sensate Pebble out and about. I also wore it whilst watching TV last night. Mm -hmm. One thing I'm struggling with is the lanyard. This doesn't quite fit. What can I do about this? We've fixed that actually in the ones that are going out now. So um, we've, there's a new lan lanyard which fits better. And we're having a custom one designed actually, which will be coming out with the next device. So users will be able to get one that's a little bit more adjustable. Um, everyone that's go getting one from now on going forward gets the new one. Okay, you've got the new one there. That's a new one. Which yeah. is a bit shorter. Yeah. Okay, got it. So now that now fits in the optimal sweet spot. We see um, uh, uh, up to 86% improvements in heart rate variability. And what's interesting about that is that we know that heart rate variability is a direct measurement of lifespan. So it gives a, up to a 96% accuracy. It will basically tell you how long somebody is likely to live for based on their heart rate variability. So we know that if we're improving heart rate variability, that's, 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 that's lifespan. So using it for 10 minutes, once so like we are right now wearing it for our 10 minute session yeah are we improving our heart rate variability and therefore our lifespan from this one session we are really now that wouldn't be maintained with one session because obviously the body would forget that but the point about the neural networks and the, and the um the autonomic nervous system is every time you repeat a pattern of behavior you lay down new neurons so we say neurons that fire together wire together and this is how you form habits that can be a bad habit like um, eat, eating too much sugar, it can be a good habit, like meditating, um, walking in the country, gardening, or whatever it might be. Basically, the, the things we repeat are the things that we do more of, obviously. Now, um, it's very hard to repeat meditation as a behavior because the learning curve and the benefit is so long, you know, 10 years or more, to really see the outcomes. But when we're using Sensate, we, we notice that we're achieving pretty much the same kind of neurological signatures that you see in long-term meditators in a single 10-minute session. 
It's, it isn't a substitute for meditation, um, and I'm hoping, obviously, that if enough people use Sensate and experience uh, some uh, benefit, they'll go on and develop a full meditation practice. So using this daily as an on-demand relaxer uh, will, you're saying, change the wiring in our minds so that we become more stress resistant? Yeah, so it improves heart rate variability, which is a direct marker of stress resiliency. So it will improve your ability to um, not succumb to the negative effects of stress. It also improves performance, mental and physical performance. Uh, and the nice thing about working on neurons rather than muscles is that that activity doesn't atrophy as soon as you stop doing it. So, you know, 10 minutes after you've left the gym, your muscles are already starting to weaken. Uh, every time you lay down a set of neurons, that's pretty much there forever. And if you make that neural network robust enough, it becomes a viable alternative for your mind to switch to in a situation of stress. So one session isn't enough. So how long would I need to use this for? to lay down new neural networks, making me more stress resistant. Yeah, um, so 10 minutes once a day for about six weeks um, uh, starts to give people a new, a new brain. Uh, they start to grow a new brain. We absolutely see the vagus nerve and vagal nerve tone as the ultimate metric, because essentially all other metrics flow from it. So if you want to improve, blood pressure or cognitive function or you know, the connection between your brain and your gut. If you do that at the vagus nerve level, you're affecting all those things. The use of Sensate beneficially alters the biomarkers that are controlled by the vagus nerve. So when heart rate variability improves, uh, we know that what we're doing is improving vagal tone. Vagal toning is being seen as one of the most promising future therapies for uh, dementia and Alzheimer's. You know, it's being researched right now amongst medical communities. Uh, a lot of the drug-based therapies aren't working terribly well. It is a huge global problem. So of course people are examining other, other possibilities. We know that uh, vagus nerve stimulation, because of it, the relationship between the autonomic nervous system and the brain, enables you to maintain or even improve cognitive function. So there's been lots of studies where measuring people, me measuring the cognitive function in people in their 50s, 60s, 70s, and they always have cognitive function which is uh, decades younger than their biological age if they are long-term meditators. And in, in many ways, what meditation is on a physiological level is enhancement of vagal tone. Do you have any plans to make it smaller? Um, there are, there's a whole product roadmap uh, of different designs and colours and patterns and materials uh, that Sensei is going to be coming out in. There's also a number of different shapes, including smaller ones, one, one that clips to the bra and is, uh, kind of, is, is, is smarter as well, so it monitors your stress levels in the background and turns itself on. And now with my better fitting lanyard on, here are some final useful things to know about the Sensate Pebble. Battery life. Stefan says you can get about six 10-minute sessions in a typical charge. Cost. At the time of filming this video in April 2019, the Sensate Pebble costs $199.99. But Health Hackers viewers get a discount. When you go to getsensate.com to buy your Pebble, head to the checkout and use the code HEALTHHACKERS, which should give you £20 off. Every little bit helps, right? Thank you for watching this video. See you next time. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.